Today I'll take you through how to change color using the color editor in Capture One. Welcome back guys. This amazing image was provided by one amazing photographer, Joey Dutch. I'll include his link in the description so you can check his works out. You can check links to other videos in this series in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, this would be a good time to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't get to miss any of my future uploads. This image has already been raw processed. An amazing image it is, isn't it? Let's say we want to change this blue here to any other color that we want. Most people will do this in Photoshop, but Capture One has a nice way of doing this seamlessly and easily. Now let's go to color tab. And then scroll down to the color editor. If you look here, we have basic, which gives us just um, some basic colors that you can just pick and then work with. And then we have the advanced, where you get to choose which color you want. You use the color picker and then pick the exact range of colors you want, which you can tweak to either add or subtract. So that's what we'll be using from here. So let's do that right away. Let's pick the color picker and then come anywhere here. Now this uh, blue is the same shade all around. So we can pick from any part and you see it gives us a range of, you know, that shade of blue. Now if we had other colors, you know, close to this range, we would have used the handles here to confine it to just that place. And there is one feature here, the view selected color range. If you select it, see it grays out every other color. So any other color that's grayed out means it's not part of the range. So as you can see clearly here, it's just blue that's visible, which means we are okay with our selection. So let's disable it and then go in here. Now, this is where everything happens. If you look here, we have hue, which you already know what it is. It has to do with the color. So if you go here, it's negative. And if you go here, it's positive. So it's the same way. As we go positive, that you're coming towards this end. If you go to the left, which is negative, you're going towards this end. So if you want, let's say, um, is it purple or pink, this kind of color, then we will have to go here, one. Now Capture One makes it, you know, in a way that every change here looks realistic. They don't want it in a way that you just slide and then get some unrealistic colors. So you can go plus or minus 30 at a go. So now if we want to go somewhere here, we might need to push this about two or three times to get that color. But if you go one, we get something close to this place. So we need to use the color picker, pick this color again. You see, we get the second instance of that. Then we move it to the right again. See, we're getting close to that. So if this is not a color we want, then we can click on it again. It gives us a third instance. We move it and then see, now we are at the color we want. Now, if we look at the edges, over here, we realize that some of the blues were left out. So now we can go to this and then start increasing. But then we would have to do that for all since now as we do it, you see the blue starts to disappear gradually. Now we have our background changed to the color that we want. We can go here and then now work on the saturation. If you want it more saturated or less saturated, we can do that. Or if you want it lighter or darker, as in lighter or darker, <laughs> we can always do that. You know, this is a very simple way of changing color. Now let's say we disable all these and then we would want to change it for just the yellow. So it's the same thing, we just pick the yellow and then look at the view. Now you realize that the skin tone has some yellows in it. So now we can try using this to see. So as we slide it there, it takes away some of the tones on the skin. If you take it further, you realize that some of the yellows here are being taken out. So in this case, what we can do is let's go ahead and then just as take all these in like that, no problem. If we change the hue, it will affect the skin also. So the best way to do this is to create a mask of only the 
dress and then apply this to it so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that even though i already have a video on how to select like mask on image and then limit the effects to just that mask but let's just go ahead and then create this so let's delete this and then with the brush tool just press b on your keyboard and then let's uh, mask this out m has been pressed so that we get to see our mask as we paint so i'll just do a rough selection here since this is a tutorial but it pays to have a concise selection if you are doing this like for real i'm using the mouse so i'm suffering a bit i'm used to my wacom so this is the mask let's go ahead and disable it so you see it creates a layer for us now if we come here then click this this and then we have this if we move it to this you see now the effect is only on the dress it, it doesn't affect the face because we have limited the effect to the mask that we created so you see if we disable this mask see it affects only this so we can go ahead create extra ones and then change the color see just like that we've been able to change the color easily in capture one see the edges are not smooth so you can refine your selection so that it's um it's uh, seamless you get it so this is how easy it is to change color in capture one if you haven't subscribed yet just go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't get to miss any of my subsequent videos and if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and like it and share it with someone you think will benefit from it i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching